We'll guide you through how you can change your phone number on your iPhone. Let's get right into this. The first thing you need to do to change your phone number on your iPhone is to either go and get a new SIM card and then you'll need to go and eject your old one and put the new one into your iPhone or alternatively you can just go and contact your carrier or your phone network and ask them to go and assign you a new phone number. Then once you've done that, there are a few things you'll need to update on your iPhone uh, for it sort of to have the new number rolled out across all of the different services you use. So firstly, just go and open up the settings app like this and then scroll down until you go and see the option for phone. Here it is, go and click on it. Then as you can see, you can then see my number and what you need to do is make sure that is updated to your new number. I'm pretty sure it should do this automatically when you put in your new SIM card or when it's been changed by your phone carrier. But if it hasn't, just go and click on it. And then what you can do is go and type in your new number and go and tap on save in the top right. The next thing you'll need to do is go and open up the contacts app. So I'll go and open up mine now, just go and search your phone for it. And then once you're in it, what you need to do is update the phone number in your contact card for yourself. So you probably will have a card already set up, which is for you. As you can see at the top, it says my name and my card. Go and click there like this. And then what you can do is go and see your current phone number. If that isn't correct and you need to update it, just go to the top right and tap on edit. Now, if you don't have a card and nothing appears at the top, then all you need to do is go to the top right and tap on the plus button and then go and create a new contact for yourself. So enter your first name, last name, and your phone number, your email, anything else you want to add, and then press done. And then what you need to do is close off contacts, open up your settings and then go into the contact settings. And then what you need to do is tap on my info and you can then go and choose the contact card, which is for you. And then that's then going to appear at the top of your contacts in the app. I'll then press cancel and it's then gonna appear at the top. And the one last thing you need to do is to go back to your settings like this. And then what you need to do is go to your messages and FaceTime settings. So go to messages like this, and then what you can do is go into your send and receive addresses and you can choose what numbers and emails you want to go and send and receive messages from. So click in there and you can then go and choose between them. 